Is there anything worse than a migraine or a headache? Don't you wish you had some medicine? Some stuff for your head pain? Something that would give you migraine relief, headache relief, or pain relief in general? What if I told you that maybe your headache meant something more than just stressing your brain? What if your headache could be deadly? All right, let's talk about headaches and migraines. Headaches and migraines are very common and are usually harmless and go away on their own. However, headaches and migraines come in two different types and determining the type can be instrumental in finding the right headache relief, the right migraine relief, the right medicine, or the right pain relief in general. Here are two types of headaches that we should explore. A, the primary headache. The primary headache are standalone illnesses caused directly by the overactivity of or problems with structures in the head that are pain sensitive. By structures in the head that are pain sensitive, they mean things like blood vessels, the muscles in your head or brain, and the nerves of your head or neck. Primary headaches are your migraines, your tension headaches, and your cluster headaches. The most common types of headaches are sinus headache or a migraine. People with these headaches usually experience a dull pain that builds slowly, but tends to go away after some time. It's probably nothing, however, sometimes these headaches can be a sign of something more serious. These are some things to keep in mind the next time you have a headache that has these symptoms. While a common headache is usually harmless, in some cases, a headache can be a sign of a stroke, an aneurysm, a brain tumor, or bleeding in the brain. In very rare cases, they can mean that your arteries and veins are not connected correctly. That covers tension and sinus headaches as well as migraines, but wait, what's a cluster headache? Well, if your headache is happening around one eye, that is called a cluster headache. If the eye goes red, it could be a sign of a brain tumor or an aneurysm. Cluster headaches can cause nausea and vomiting, but if you have a fever or stiff neck, it could be meningitis. See a doctor if your headache worsens after 24 hours, and if you have a history of cancer, watch out if you experience a new kind of headache. B, secondary headaches. So, what is this so-called secondary headache? Well, pretty much it's any sort of head pain that's caused by circumstances outside of the head. Some of those circumstances include, number nine, an alcohol-induced hangover. This one is an old classic and a source of many people's mourning after pain. You can probably tell if you have an alcohol-induced hangover headache if the night before you found yourself drinking a lot of booze. A nice headache remedy for one is to grab some juice, maybe some fresh fruit, have a big breakfast, and then head back to bed. An Advil would also be acceptable and hey, maybe try not to go so hard next time, you party animal. Number eight, brain tumor. Now this one is much more serious and you probably shouldn't try to self-diagnose yourself on this one. However, if you want to recognize a pain tumor besides the headache, Cancer Center describes the following as brain tumor symptoms. Vision changes, loss of motor skill, nausea and or vomiting, speech problems, seizures, cognitive problems, weakness, change in personality, and hormone disorders. The only headache relief, migraine relief, or pain relief I can recommend for this potential head pain cause is to see a doctor as soon as possible. Number seven, blood clots. When a blood vessel is damaged in your brain, it might cause a blood clot, which describes as a collection of sticky blood cells that form when a blood vessel is damaged. Blood clots are created so the leak caused by the damaged blood vessel can be clogged. Blood clots in the brain often lead to strokes, which you're probably having if you lost feeling in one side of your face, arm, or leg, or you've temporarily gone blind. Confusion, speech problems, and sudden loss of coordination are also symptoms of a stroke. If you think you're having a stroke, visit a doctor immediately. Number six, brain freeze. On a more lighthearted side, you can also get headaches from brain freezes. You know, that sudden burst of cold you get in your head whenever you eat ice cream too fast? Well, it turns out that brain freezes are caused by a sudden cooling of the sinuses, 
then sudden warming of the sinuses. Pretty much, when you eat the cold ice cream, then breathe the warm air too fast, your brain will freeze. Our headache relief, migraine relief, medicine or pain relief for this one? Rub your head and go, ooh, brain freeze. Number five, carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a scary thought. It clearly happens when you've inhaled too much carbon monoxide. But how can you tell carbon monoxide poisoning head pain from other sorts of head pain? Besides the headaches, you'll probably feel short of breath, get dizzy, become nauseous, or feel confused. Make sure to always have carbon monoxide detectors, and if you think something is amiss, call an ambulance. Number four, dehydration. When it's hot out in the summer, there's nothing more you want than to be outside, playing in the hot sun. However, as much fun as it is, the heat can be dangerous and could cause dehydration. Apart from the headache you'll get, some other signs of dehydration are dry skin, bad breath, muscle cramps, fever and chills, cravings for sweet food like candy, and signs of fatigue, confusion, and anger. The best thing you can do to prevent dehydration is, well, stay hydrated. Make sure to bring water everywhere you go during those hot months. Number three, stress. Also called tension headaches. These headaches are the most common types of headaches for adults. Gee, I wonder why. All jokes aside, these headaches will often not keep you from doing your daily activities and will often just hurt for about 30 minutes. Other symptoms of stress headaches are trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating, muscle aches, and irritability. But those could, you know, be because of the headache. To be fair, no one told me there'd be this many bills I'd have to pay. Number two, rebound headaches. These are caused by overuse of pain medication. What kind of pain medication, you ask? Only the pain medication that offers headache relief, migraine relief, and pain relief in general. Sheesh. There's gotta be some sort of irony to that. Well, we obviously can't get rid of these rebound headaches with traditional medicine. What can we do for migraine relief, headache relief, or pain relief? Honestly, there isn't really a good answer. The most important thing is to take care of yourself. Nevertheless, if you find yourself with rebound headaches, you should probably just consult your doctor. Number one, panic attacks. With mental health being a very hot button issue these days, it's helpful to recognize when you may be having a dreaded panic attack. Some of these signs include sweating, shaking, feeling like you wanna die, chills or heat sensations, or shortness of breath. If you're already diagnosed with anxiety, then you should probably try and get some medication for when these panic attacks sneak up on you again. Finally, we should quickly go over a couple more things to look out for if you're experiencing a nasty headache. If your headache is all of the sudden and the pain is unbearable, it's called a thunderclap headache. They usually are most painful after 60 seconds and often are a sign of bleeding in the brain. They can be very serious. If you get a headache after exercise or any other physical activity, it could be a symptom of a brain tumor or an aneurysm. Serious headaches can cause slurred speech and blurred vision. They can also cause trouble balancing, confusion, or memory loss. These are also signs of a stroke. If you are experiencing headaches and you're over the age of 55, talk to your doctor. Also, if you've had a head injury and get a headache, it could lead to a concussion or brain damage if not treated immediately. Please do not try any homemade headache relief, any homemade migraine relief, any homemade medicine, or any homemade pain relief in general. Just go to the dang doctor. And that's about it. Gee, I hope digesting all this information at once didn't give you a migraine. Tell us about the headaches and migraines you get in the comment section below. Also, if you have any sort of headache relief, migraine relief, or pain relief in general, let us know that too. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.